welcome back to another video. Today, we will be playing Emerge on YC. Uh, it will be single player today. Um, I will be doing multiplayer within the next week or so. Um, is there's a growing community that I'm in. Uh, I'll put the Discord invite down below. Um, it's got well over 40 people in it with daily sessions. So, but we'll, I'll start recording those eventually. Um, but for today, we'll be doing single player. Um, and we'll be running engine 227 and going on to whatever we get really and then if we need additional units we'll call them we'll, we'll call them down to our call but other than that let's just see uh, what's given to us okay so it looks like we just got a storm fire call um, looks like it's gonna be on Fulton Street so we're gonna get in our turnout gear and then hurry up and get out there and Eight nine one yeah, one seven four zero Fulton Street between Malcolm X Boulevard and Stuyvesant Avenue, putting a store on fire. Phone box eight nine one one seven four zero Fulton Street between Malcolm X Boulevard and Stuyvesant Avenue, putting a store on fire. Twenty two thirty nine. Where's the nearest hydrant? Oh, it's all the way back here, of course it is. I'm not gonna turn on the hydrant just yet. Um, we're just gonna get quick attack. Uh, and then... We're putting it out as fast as possible. The only problem I've ever had with quick attack is that you can't actually get the water from the front of the truck. You gotta... Go from here. Let's just start putting the fire out. As fast as we can. And this thing's fully off right now. But it seems like uh seconds do count because this is a lot of fire for place. Seems like there's a missing chunk of the wall right there. Yep, just ran out of water. So we're gonna hurry up and connect. Uh, hydrant. And then we'll go back and attack. We know we have water now. As you just saw the hoses flowing. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be all of it, and it's already self-ventilating because there's holes in the roof. So, that's good. Um, we're going to let the engine fill up real quick. But what I am going to do is I'm going to get a ladder done here and see if we can get a vent fan. Here comes the ladder.
There we go, yep. Yeah. Mm. So we're just gonna ventilate the building real quick. Yeah, so the building was, uh, building was mainly ventilated. Uh, so I'm gonna put us and uh, the ladder back in service. Okay, so we're gonna be backing into the station now. Whoa, speedy there. <laughs> Come on, keep it going. And stop. Alright, so we're gonna be back in station. Uh, and we'll just be waiting for the next call, really. Okay, so we got a first alarm uh, down on Fulton again. Looks like it's gonna be an odor of gas at the laundromat. Um, so, we'll go out that way, find the source of the gas. Alarm 1616, 1805 Fulton That's going to be one of the new calls. Malcolm X Boulevard and Patchen Avenue reporting an order of gas in the laundromat. Alarm 1616, 1805 Fulton Street, Malcolm X Boulevard to Patchen Avenue. Reporting an order of gas in the laundromat. P54445. Yeah, so it's not emergent right now. So we're just going to head down that way and uh, we're going to find the source of the gas. And Disable it just so nobody gets hurt. Um, shouldn't be that hard to find uh, if we had the gas meter. Um, yeah. My guess it'll just be one of the systems inside the launch map, but it could always be something else. Because the way that the calls are set up, it's randomized to where it could be uh, as long as one of the things are set to gas related. If you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Like it could be a gas pipe or it could be uh, anything that's powered by gas. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around right here. And then... We're going to park up next to the building. Right here. Sadly, traffic won't go around the engine, but... Whatever. Okay, so I am gonna put on my turnout gear. Just so I can have my SCBA and not have gas problems. So there is an odor and gas, so I am gonna put my SCBA on. Mask. And then the more the thing beeps, uh, the closer you are to a source. It seems like we're not having any detections right in here. Yeah, so it's somewhere back there. I guess you can't have the mask on or else the uh, gas detector won't work, right? Ah, oh, so it is outside and not over here. I don't know exactly what it was that was causing it, but it was one of these. Uh, it seems like the odor is gone at this time. Okay, so it seems like we're going to have a car fire now. It's going to be down on Bergen Street, cross of Utica and Buffalo. I'm going to put on my turnout gear now. And then we're going to head down to the car fire and put it out as fast as we possibly can before it spreads to anything major. So let's figure out where it's at so I can find it. Okay, so the fastest way is going to go this way. Okay, so you can already see it. Okay. So, once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this as quick as possible. The nearest hydrant, which... Is there even a hydrant nearby? Yeah, right here. And then we'll just 
build up at the end if we don't run out of water. And we're gonna put the fire out as quick as possible. That in there. Grab this. Alright, so it's gonna be out at this time. And we're gonna put the quick attack back. And then, yeah, we're gonna fill the tank back up while we can. Take that off real quick. Open you up. Let it fill up real quick. And we'll head back to station. And the tow company should be coming on the way. It's filled. So we're gonna close that real quick. Gonna back her in. I don't think I'm lined up properly for this one. Uh, oh, maybe I am. Oh yeah, I am. Perfect. There you go. Oh, glass pipe didn't want to connect that time though. You know? Oh well, it's fine. We won't die, right? Okay, so we're gonna have a manhole fire on St. John's. So let's get down there. I'm gonna quickly put that, well, we're probably just gonna use a fire extinguisher for this one, to be honest. Cause it should be quick and easy. It's just a manhole fire, but if it spreads anything, we'll connect it to a hose. Oh, that's a big fire. Never mind, we'll be using hose 100%. Oh, that's not that's why it's spread to a car. Okay, so this time we are actually gonna... Oh, that's not what I wanted. We're gonna quickly uh, open up the hydrant. Drop that there. Put everything out real quick. We'll put the man oil fire out real quick just so it doesn't spread anything else. And we're gonna put out the whole car. Seems like it was fully involved and burned to a crisp. So this car won't be savable like the last one. Make sure it's all out. So you can see it's still steaming, so you don't want it to combust again. Okay, it's gonna be out. Manhole should be out too. So, we're just gonna disconnect everything. Put it all back. I think the norm. Simple, easy call. Nothing too crazy.
And we're going to be back in service. Alright. And we're back at the station once again. And of course I'm going to be blocked in by that guy. Come on, man. Aw, oh, man. Oh, this fault. Come on, move. Please. There you go. We're going to back in with third person this time. Get in there. There we go, the exhaust uh, tube took it that time. Lights off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to keep the lights on. Waste some battery. Alright. We're going to be back in quarters once again. Okay. So we got a call for a water leak. Um, we're going to just head down that way and disable the water source that's leaking. Maybe a simple uh, non-emergent call. Hopefully it doesn't turn into anything major, because again, it's just a water leak. So, that's the fastest way there. Okay. This is also one of the new calls that came with the Brooklyn map, along with the gas odors. Um, this one you just find a water source that's leaking and turn it off. I don't know the origin for them, I don't know if there's like a pipe that burst, or if someone forgot to turn off the water when they left the house. I don't know. I just know that we get caught out there and turn it off and that's it. And then everything else is for whatever company cleans it up. I am gonna pull in here. This work arriving on the scene right now. Block the hydrant. Now we'll just keep the turn on gear on. Not worth turning off for now. Get in there. Oh. Looks like it's gonna be upstairs. Somehow. I don't know how to get upstairs. Do I have to break in? No, I don't I don't wanna have to use the handle again though. Can I kick it? Nope, cannot kick it. So sadly I'm gonna have to break open the door. Um with the halligan. Pry it open and go disable it that way. Crack it open. Just like that. Come upstairs. There's the water. I don't want to have to break open another door. That's the issue. So I'm going to look around and see if there's any other sources of water around. I can't tell if it's on this floor or upstairs. Which it sounds like it's going to be downstairs. And I don't want to kick open the wrong door. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's going to be in here. Oh, well, the glass just broke. Yes. And it wasn't even in here. Sorry whoever owns this house. Did not mean to do that to you. And the glass broke again. Halligan's a fun tool. Close? Is it in this one? I really hope it's not upstairs. Because <laughs> I'm just going to be prying open everyone's doors. Yep, exactly what happened. Yep. It's upstairs. Dang. Oh. I cannot get up these stairs. That doesn't make sense. It sounds like it's over there, though. Just again. Sorry to all the owners in this place. There we go. It's that one. Alright. That's it for that call. That I had to break open doors, and that's probably going to look bad on the department now. Won't even talk about it, you know? Can't get out of the building either. Ah. Okay, so we're going to put the Alligan Bar and we're going to go back to the station.
Alright, so on our way back the station, we actually just got a call for explosion with collapse. Come on. It's gonna be right behind where we just were. Uh, this glitch is annoying. If you hit something, the 227 will just stop and you have to get out and get back in. So, we're gonna actually go to that explosion. Due to the amount of fire, and I'm gonna connect that. Turn this on. Not you. Okay, so it's gonna be like it's two places. I could probably, you know what, actually I am gonna get the deck gun for over here. And I'm gonna go to the other side. That should be easy for now. Got the nozzle. That'll keep that part under control at least. While I go over here. As, as you can see, this part's trying to collapse already. Circular motions cover more or area of the stream because there's no fog nozzle. Sadly, I believe there was a Montgomery, but they never implemented it to the base game. Sucks, but it's still able to put fires on without the fog. So, can't really complain. Okay, that's gonna seem like it's all of the fire. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be all the fire. Yeah, we can see. Yeah, no smoke from up there either, so should be good. Now we are gonna turn this off. Actually, I'm gonna disable the deck gun first, so we're not wasting water. Enough. <laughs> And then, I know that's not how that's supposed to go. Because, just to raise it, it'll sit. Um. That. That. Alright. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, but... Normal, I haven't done Emerging YC before. Um, but again, within the next week or so, we'll be doing some multiplayer videos. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure you like the video uh, and leave a comment. Let me know if you want more of these, really. 
Um, other than that, hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.